What's up guys, back again for the final video of the year and it's a holiday video, so fantastic. Let's get into it. This Christmas season, I wanna talk about perhaps the best Christmas special of all time that chances are you've actually never seen. Welcome back to Cole's Classics. Today, let's talk about Muppet Family Christmas released in 1987. But first, you know I gotta do some backstory. So, back in the 1980s, after the rise in success with the Muppet movie and their many different properties, the Jim Henson Company wanted to make a fun holiday special and really wanted to pull out all the stops. They secured song rights to many classic Christmas songs for TV airing, which will become an issue later, which I'll come back to, as well as appearances from the Muppets, the Sesame Street, and the Fraggle Rock universes as well making it to this day only the second special to include all four Jim Henson properties, with the other special being like a Jim Henson 30 year anniversary theme that came out one year before it. So the one hour Christmas special aired on December 16th, 1987, and has unfortunately been shoved into the closet of forgotten media ever since. So that being said, let's dive right into this holiday special. So sit back, grab your popcorn, here we go. So the film opens up on the Muppet Gang traveling by car in the snow, singing, We Need a Little Christmas. Now you realize right away that Jim Henson and his crew really had a blast making this. So, not only are the Muppets singing infamous Christmas songs, they put their own little Muppet twist on it. So in this scene, they're singing We Need a Little Christmas, but make the song 10 times better by changing one crucial line. So we've learned that the gang is headed up to surprise Fozzie's mom and to spend the Christmas season at her home unannounced. However, her plan was to go to Florida and... I'm going to lie on the beach and catch some rays. Waka waka! So because her plan was to go to Florida, she's lent the farmhouse to Doc and Sprocket, which Jim Henson fans will recognize as the tenants of the house in the Fraggle Rock series. So once the Muppets arrive, they catch both Mama Fozzie and Doc off guard, who now realize that their Christmas is basically ruined. There's plenty of room for everybody. Excuse me. You promised me a nice, quiet, Christmas. You think you're disappointed? I just took three months of surfing lessons for zip! So once the first wave of people get settled in, which, yeah, there's more coming, Kermit phones Miss Peggy, who is still in the city and plans on coming up later in the day. And right off the bat, there's the first thing I like about this movie. This bit with Kermit worrying about Miss Peggy is really the only driving plot of the movie, which I think is what makes it so charming. It's not trying to shove a message of be good around the holidays or love thy neighbor, like we see told again and again in Christmas movies. This movie really is literally just a big Jim Henson mashup collaboration with all of them talking with each other. And I would argue that's what makes this special so fantastic. So in the next scene, we get some more great covers of infamous Christmas songs. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention that there's this great bit about the arriving characters where they all slip on the icy patch in the doorway, which depending on how much you love Muppets being yeeted to the floor becomes either funnier or more annoying the more you see it. Oh, mind your step. Be careful. There's an icy patch there. I've been chasing the truck, and boy, what? Careful, the icy patch! So now it's time for the Sesame Street crew to show up, and by this point you realize that Doc and Brocket, Doc and Brocket, <laughs> that Doc and Sprocket really got screwed by this deal. Nice. Not more! Like, dang, they really are just getting screwed out of their Airbnb deal. They really just want a nice, quiet holiday season, and all these weird furry creatures are coming in. Dude, if I was Doc, I'd be freaking pissed right now. He should probably ask for a refund. Okay, yeah, so I should probably admit that there are a lot more plot lines going on, especially when you remember that this is only 40 minutes. So yeah, apart from Kermit worrying about Miss Piggy, the storm is really getting worse. Yeah, I hope Miss Piggy is okay. There is one worried frog. Aha, that's one, one worried frog. Oh, he's not the only one. That's two, two worried frogs. Ah, 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 ah. There's Gonzo basically getting cucked out of his girlfriend by the Christmas turkey. Hey, you chicken little, you're my kind of poultry. Ah. Come on, Ninny Penny, let's me and you go out to the farmyard for a little friendly scratching and squawking. Oh. Oh. And then there's the most entertaining plotline of Fozzie building a snowman, which comes to life, and they start a comedy routine. And then finally, there's also the shorter plotline of Swedish Chef trying to find something to cook for Christmas, where at first he tries the alpha turkey, which then tells him to go for Big Bird. And then it ends in a pretty funny scene where Big Bird is blissfully unaware that Chef is trying to get him into the oven. Gee, nice kitchen. <laughs> and so yeah, without getting into the mother of all copyright strikes by including the songs, that's about the entire special. Of course, Peggy arrives in time in spite of apparently the worst blizzard in 50 years, like whatever. Fozzie gives up the comedy routine since the snowman gets too warm and starts to melt. <laughs> that was our best joke. Oh, that does it, Fozzie. Forget the act. I'm starting to melt. It's too hot in here. Well, you know what they say. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the farmhouse. <laughs> and the Swedish chef ends up befriending Big Bird and Gonzo is able to get his girlfriend back. I 
think. Like, yeah, the special actually never followed up with that. I mean, I kind of wonder if she, like, ran off to be with the alpha turkey, but, but I don't know. And so once everyone is in the house, they sing a bunch of Christmas songs, and the special basically ends. Oh yeah, and Jim Henson makes a cameo too, so good stuff. So if you couldn't already tell, I really like this special. So I can't tell you how happy I was seeing that many others online loved it too. Although I was surprised and a little irritated at the lack of attention and love this special has gotten over time, after learning about the logistical nightmare of it really put things into perspective. So yeah, remember how I mentioned the song rights? So yeah, that red flag meant to television airing only and not for home release. So yeah, I really don't know exactly how like song rights work for like television releases versus like home media release. So I guess even with the songs changing some lyrics, the song rights still became a problem when the home media release was proposed. So in a desperate workaround, they ended up just cutting out some of the scenes and songs in order to avoid copyright issues and still release the special on home media. And so although the DVD version has a good portion of the special, there is a good five or so minutes of it missing, at least in the US release. And unfortunately, that isn't even the only issue. As if music rights issues weren't enough, since all the characters' rights are now owned by three different companies, Disney, Sesame Workshop, and the Jim Henson Company, it kind of starts to make a lot more sense as to why the special hasn't gone into re-release. And really, that is a huge shame. I've been watching this special ever since I was little, and I still make an effort to watch it every year. Mostly because it's just a lot of fun and really just a harmless special. There's no dumb friend fight between Kermit and Fozzie that inevitably make up later. There's no drama about the dinner being ruined or the house burning down. It's just, it's just Christmas fun, which is surprisingly hard to come by in the collection of Christmas movies nowadays. And like I mentioned before, I'm incredibly happy that there is an active cult following online for this special, and people aren't letting this die, and now me included, obviously. So if you want to watch this special, you can still find the US DVD release on the Amazon for a few bucks. However, one user has obtained the full uncut special and still has it up on YouTube now if you want to go watch it for yourself. And I won't link it here, but looking up Muppet Family Christmas on YouTube won't not take you to it. I mean, I'm just saying. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video, and unfortunately this will be the last video of the year, but do not cry, dry your tears, because I'm already working on three new videos that I'm going to be publishing um, over the next few months once 2021 gets uh, going here. So yeah, I was pretty happy that I found the time to make this video um, right before the special date aired, um, today, December 15th, or 16th, when is this coming up? I don't know. So yeah, I was really happy that I found the time to make this video since it was something I want to talk about. So I hope you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe. Like I said, I'm already working on three new videos, although I don't want to jinx it and never complete them, so I guess we'll see. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you all in 2021, fingers crossed, but for now, happy holidays. And who are you calling Big Nose? Big Nose? <laughs> if you think I'm a nice fat bird, look at this! You're gonna need a bigger boat. Coming. Oh yeah, the lizard. Uh, uh, well, frog actually. I've heard it both ways. Tell yourself it'll only take a minute, and you'll be happy that you did it. Yeah, bark, bark! Oh. Will you clam up? I really don't care for the way your company left me in the middle of fucking nowhere with fucking keys to a fucking car that isn't fucking there. I want a fucking car right fucking now. Wait a second. I thought I heard something. Okay, everyone. Let's get started. Yes, beautiful, feeling it. That's it, yes. Let's let the inside out. Okay, you're an animal. Yes, there we go, you're a tiger. You're Tony the tiger. Look, 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 look. I'm not even shooting you. It's crazy. And I'm spent.